Yeah, well, I'll, I'll try to explain uh, what happened today as best as I can with the word, with words. Um, today was just incredible, um, and the whole time in Mexico has been incredible. Uh, just been here for a couple of weeks now, and I don't know. I had pretty strong initiations with the, with with Sapo. It's like the tide running out before the tsunami comes, you know. I'm very blessed to come to Mexico City and meet with my brothers here today and uh, took me out into the woods. <laughs> the little portal, and yeah, went went back into that into that space into that portal, which started starting to be a little bit more familiar. With. And then just after you take the pipe and then your world starts to just disintegrate, pixelate and dissolve and then go into another world. It's like the, the world of the, of the ancestors or of the gatekeepers and if, you, if it's your fortune then the gatekeepers allow you to experience you know, the total connection to, you know, to the creator door. And uh, it's, it's an incredible experience. And it's also one where I've just been learning to let go more and more to the experience. And there's, there's no depth, there's no bottom to the amount of the let go that you can have. You know, you can just let go and let go and let go and let go and just keep dissolving into this mysterious dimension which is offering itself to us at the moment. So I think in, in that offering too, you know, it's like, you, it's like you're being asked to, to let go. And then and as I was letting go, I could feel um, just a total dissolving into this, into this reality. And then at a certain point, you start returning out of this dimension back into, into this reality. And, uh, and that's, a, that's an amazing space when you, when you come out of this total um, disintegration of your ego and who you are and what you think you are. And, and then you start coming back and feeling like, oh, I do have a body. I am of this world, and and then it's like you have you, all your molecules have to start finding their friends next to each other and coming back together again and into the body. And then there's an opportunity to um, to 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 release and. And then I, I feel that there's a we can release past karmas, not just of ourselves, 
but also of, of humanity's past karmas. feeling to 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 feel like we can change the the future by letting go of the past and a few times when I've been in that space I've um, felt the energy of of Jesus Christ on the cross and I'm I'm not a Christian I don't follow that religion at all yet I've felt quite often this this total surrender that you go through in this state it's it feels the same as what Jesus Christ did on the cross he was able to um, release and dissolve the karma of, of all of humanity up to that point to allow a new energy to come through and I think that's what's happening now is Sapo is coming out into the world now to release and dissolve the karmas, the karma of our collective consciousness and and we can just surrender to that, you know, completely. And and I believe that that's going to allow new energies to come through to come down and I felt in one one session that that there are those gatekeepers the, the guardians of the light that are like a bridge between us and and the creator because it's very difficult for us to just vibrate on the same frequency that the creator does and so these gatekeepers they're, they're like a cushion between us and the Creator. And it's like the gatekeepers are asking us to, to purify ourselves and to surrender and to dissolve karma to allow a new energy to come through from the Creator down through the gatekeepers and onto the planet. The gatekeepers want this but they can't force it. They, they orchestrate some things. This is what I feel like all the times, the people that I've met, you know, meeting all you guys here today and doing the ceremony. It's, it's, it's no coincidence. You know, I feel the gatekeepers are up there pulling the strings and connecting people and the dots and everything so, so we can create this new energy here on the planet. And, uh, and so, <clears throat> you know, there's people now, and in Mexico, there's a lot of people, and around the world too, there's a lot of people who are, who are starting to make this bridge from this earthly plane through the gatekeepers to the creator. And, and that's allowing the new cosmic energy to flow through down onto the planet where anything is possible. And I remember after I came back a little bit and um, was aware of my body and I could feel like these energetic blockages in my body and, you know, just wanting to, you know, sort of <laughs> spit and growl and purge and, and you know, I, I thank you for all of you for helping me release that, you know, and that was a beautiful part of today's experience was um, having the guides, you guys as guides to help me release that, that energy which was, I believe, not just my own, I mean I had my stuff in there, and, but I could feel stuff that was coming through, it was, it was like a collective release, you know, of, of, of old energy patterns and thoughts and actions that don't serve us anymore we, that we have to you know let go of you know deep <coughs> deep blockages deep karma 
felt the pain of the whales and the dolphins and what we're doing to them. <coughs> it's got to stop. It's like the treatment, we have to respect the toad too. If we're collecting the venom, we have to, we have to, we have to know the toad. We have to know this journey. We have to treat the toad with respect. And, like we, you know, <laughs> I don't, obviously don't claim to be a Jesus Christ, but I, I, I recognise the, the energy that Jesus did on the cross in that complete surrender is able to dissolve the karma. And so, um, you know, the, and like I said, there's no limit to the, the level of surrender with the medicine, with sapo inside you. It gives you the, 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 the it's not even power, it's just a, like an opening of the heart. So that, you know, because the heart is just, it's, it's endless. So, you know, the heart can open completely and, um, and release anything too. And, and that's what a lot of people are doing. You know, we're all doing that. We all did that today, you know, and there's people doing it around the world. And it's, it's just incredible, you know, it's just amazing. I mean, I've, I've been involved in the shamanic community. I made Shamans of the Amazon documentary 20 years ago and been taking ayahuasca and mushrooms and San Pedro, all sorts of things, but sapo. Whoa, it's just another level and it's such a gift to the people but also to humanity, you know, because we can create, we can create anything. I mean, I, I've been fighting environmental battles for 20, 30 years, you know, logging, you know, the whaling, the, the Iraq wars, you know, just everything, you know, sort of fighting against this thing, but I'm realizing now, especially with the medicine, that we don't need to fight against this anymore. Just by completely surrendering and letting go and opening up to the heart, we can change the energy on the planet. I know this sounds so sort of cosmic and out there and bar and bay and all this stuff, but it's when you're in there, it's not a thought, it's a feeling, it's a knowing. And uh, that's what makes it so powerful. Is it? It's 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 in every cell. When you when you feel it, it you, you don't have a doubt. You know you you know it. And 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 that what gives me a lot of faith in this medicine is that we can we can change we can change the planet with it. We, you know we don't have to protest anymore. <laughs> Yay! I've been doing it for 30 years, and I don't have to do it anymore. This is the work, you know, this is the, this is the work, and it's hard work, it's fucking hard. You know, when you get in there and you, you're, you're smashed into smithereens and there's, you know, you don't know where you are and what is going on, but you're trusting in the process, then, you know, anything is, is, is possible. So the toilet medicine for me is a tool. It's a tool to be able to access our highest self through direct connection with the Creator via the, the gatekeepers, the ancestors. It's a powerful tool for us to enter these high dimensions and also to purify ourselves so that we can be conduits for the light and the new energy that's coming down on the planet right now. <laughs>